All right, guys, I would like to welcome you back to Broad Street. We're on part two, episode three. This segment, we are going to do an NBA draft of the current players in the NBA. Bryce and I are going to select players, and then eventually we are going to live stream games on blacktop mode in NBA 2K. Oh, yeah. Very excited. This is actually – Bryce came up with this idea when we first started doing this podcast, and then recently Kevin Durant listed his five teammates to play with, so it kind of sparked this segment. It's meant and to be. It's meant to be. It's yeah. a sign to do it. So we're going to have fun with these drafts. We're going to do a current, and then we're going to go on to the NBA all-time. So it's going to be very, very fun. I'm excited to see who you're going to pick. I'm, I'm real excited. I feel I'm like you're going to I feel like you're going to throw someone outside of, like, whoever's three thinking. You're just going to pick some someone. Some Euro player. Like, you play. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so we're going to start off with current. And I have the first pick in the current. Bryce has the first pick in the all time. Um, so to kick off the Brothers of Broad Street podcast 2020, 2021 NBA current draft. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a. I just got to get a little mojo going, a little intensity, a little build up for this pick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looking at my draft board right here. Look at the draft board. <laughs> all time. All time. Team Crodger selects the king, LeBron James. I'm not going to pretend I'm shocked whatsoever. I was I was banking on you picking him with, uh, you know, your first pick. <laughs> but, Hold on. Yeah. Let, me, let me get your theme song. What do you want as your theme song? <laughs> what are you feeling? I don't know, dude. You just you just took a good one. You, you got you got to play the rock. I got it. I got you it. Gotta, yeah. Like you know, like before the Eagles games when they play like. You want, rock, like, rock, like she's in the she's in the bed and he's like she's like I want you to win. Okay. And he's like we're gonna win in the background. That just fire. That that's an all. It just gets me so fired up. Let me find that. Yeah, that, that that gets me real fired up. Do you want to explain why you picked LeBron? Is there any? Do you need to? Do you need I'm gonna to actually explain that right now. I'm gonna explain that right now. I mean, guy's 37, I think, right? 36, 37. He's up there in age, 36 years old. But before LeBron got hurt, obviously, uh, him, he was averaging 26, eight, and seven. I want to say, don't uh, fact check me on that. But LeBron James has shown no signs of stopping obviously uh, with this injury that he's been out with for about four or five weeks, it's definitely set him back a little bit, but before the Lakers were first in the West, they were rolling and that's even without Anthony Davis. And I just think when you look at a guy like LeBron, he can play any single position and he's going to be able to orchestrate that offense to a T. So he's going to set me up for some success. Definitely an all-time team player, LeBron. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here in line and say I've been the all-time supporter of LeBron because I haven't been, but he is like the most ideal teammate of all time. He makes everybody around him better. I, yeah, I, and then, I mean, it's for me, it's like, you know, I I need a bucket in crunch time. I'm going to him. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I'm letting you know now the ball's going in his hands. Um, You want the Rocky song? Yeah, I want Rocky for sure. With the second pick of the 2021 draft, Team Zelig selects. I'm going to take the Slim Reaper. I'm taking Kevin Durant. Um, definitely not my favorite guy of all time. Uh, but, I mean, at the end of the day, he's a freak. I believe he's probably one of the most, if not the most, unguardable player to ever touch a basketball. I don't know how you stop him whatsoever. The guy can literally do everything on him on a basketball court, he can dunk, he can pull up from three, he can back you down in the post, he, he can pull up anywhere, he's, he's a spot-up shooter, and he's also literally a seven-foot, he's a freak, um, and, you know, he's a clutch player, he's hit two big shots in the finals, over LeBron James, the guy that, you know, you took number one, uh, I got to go with Kevin Durant, I got to, and I, you know, I think he's not, I think he's a solid defender, I think, you know, him and LeBron match up against each other well, and I actually think Kevin Durant, would probably beat LeBron one on one. So, you know, I think Kevin Durant at number two is honestly a steal. I know that sounds crazy. Kevin Durant at two is a steal. You think he's the best on the planet right now? 
Uh, I think healthy, unfortunately, I don't think we're ever going to see a full hundred percent Kevin Durant anymore because of Achilles. Once you get Achilles, it's over. Uh, you know, we saw what happened with DeMarcus cousins. We see what happens with guys all the time when they, that Achilles hurts, but I think hundred percent healthy Kevin Durant is by far the best player on earth. I know that's, and you know, that sounds crazy, but to the me, one thing I'll say, this is the, this is where I think that Kevin Durant's got LeBron beat. Not think he's got LeBron beat. I mean, his shooting's way better than LeBron's. Way better. Way I mean, better. Kevin, Kevin Durant stepping up to the free throw line, it's a layup. You know what I mean? It's just automatic. It's going in. LeBron James struggles with free throws. He's only 70% this year. Let's say LeBron struggles. LeBron is horrible at free throws. Just admit it. Just I know. Struggles. struggles. He's, horrible. He's struggles. horrible at the line. LeBron James is horrible at the line. Kevin Durant, I haven't seen him miss a free throw one time in my no heart. No free throw line in blacktop. There's no free throw line in blacktop. That is true. Just, you just get the ball back. <laughs> Um, all right, so those those are the captains for Team Crodger, Team Zelig. With the second pick for my team, third pick, second pick for my team, I'm going Kawhi Leonard from the L.A. Clippers, the claw. Solid, solid. Yeah, that was a good pick. You know, I like that pick, but you just made a huge mistake. Uh, I, I know who you're picking. You just made a humongous mistake. I actually was thinking about taking this guy with the first pick in the draft, but I had a feeling you would mess up. <laughs> the classic Jim Crodger move to do that. But I'm going to take um, back-to-back reigning MVP and defensive player of the year. I'm going to take Giannis onto the Kumpo. I don't know if anyone's ever seen him play, but the guy is literally a freak. Um, Kevin Durant and him put on the same team. I just think that's scary. That's that's really terrifying. I feel bad if I'm you, Jimmy. I just – that's – that's t- I don't know how you're going to – It's simple. That. It's simple. It's Kawhi covers Kevin and LeBron covers Giannis. It's simple. Giannis can't shoot. Man, but he could. He's good. Giannis is good. I wouldn't leave him open for three. He can knock. He can knock down some threes. I wouldn't leave him open. Guy's a freak. Giannis is good. I'll give you. Giannis. I'm loving. I'm in love with my team so far. I'm in love. Love him. I can tell you're a little, you know, shaky about your team, but I'm in love with mine. So, the Giannis pick threw me off. It threw me off. It threw off my research. How I was going to go about it. Setups, matchups. It threw me off. Um, but I'm, I'm going, I'm taking him. Steph Curry. Oh, that hurts. I'm not going to lie. I thought you were going to really mess up and it's, I thought you were, I thought you were going to mess up big time. I, th- I really did. I, I thought you were going to let it slip. You know, I'm, I was nervous about the pick because I don't play well with him in 2K. However, you can't deny the hot streak that he's on in real life, and that obviously translates to 2K. I'm not so, going to lie. I'm a, little, I'm, a, I'm a little upset. I'm upset that you took him. I'm not going to lie. I thought for sure you would let him slip to me. I thought for sure. No, I mean, Steph Curry is literally pulling up from everywhere. He's singing threes. Yesterday, he dropped 47 against the Sixers, and that was absurd. Like, I was actually rooting for Steph Curry to hit more shots because they were crazy. I mean, they were falling from anywhere. Another and, topic for later is he is he the greatest point guard to ever live? No. I'm just saying there could be a debate. There could be a debate for it. Not. Be a debate. Good question. He's not. With, with my number three pick, I mean, get the Rocky music going again. I think we all know who I'm taking. <laughs> I'm, taking Joel, I'm taking Joel Embiid. I'm taking Joel Embiid. I mean, I I, mm-hmm. I gotta you know I'm, I'll take the best. I I believe I have the best small forward, power forward, and center all at their positions on my team. You could think that. You it's not the it's not it's not the flashy <laughs> it's not the flashy pick when it comes to black top, but it is it's the pick. I mean I'll take Joel all day in that position. All right. I mean I no. um I'm sticking right now and I'm going to get another shooter. In fact, I think this guy's a better shooter than Steph Curry. And I'm going James Harden, Brooklyn Nets. That's a solid pick. <laughs> Fourth round, are you kidding me? Well, I mean, I, I think I'm getting the I think I'm getting the biggest sleeper coming up right now. I, you know, I thought you might pick him here, but I had a feeling he would go with James Harden. Definitely, definitely a really solid pick. Can't can't go wrong with James Harden. I just I I'm not the greatest shooter, so that why I, I need I need better shooters to make up for my mistake. No, yeah, no. I mean, your team your team's solid, but I think that you put those guys on the same team. That's the best court, best backcourt ever assembled. 
Yeah, no, you're not. You're not, definitely not wrong there, yeah. and it's Steph Curry's a beast. But that's why I'm going with, in my opinion, hands down, the second best point guard in the league. I'm taking Dame Dalla. I think we all know how he can shoot. I th- I think James I James Carter, I think James Carter forgot that Dame Lillard was on the board there. So I didn't what, forget. I didn't forget. I knew he was on there. I knew he was on there. I'm very comfortable with that pick. I mean, you want to talk about clutch players in the NBA? He might be the most clutch. So. Why is he not in the MVP conversation this year? I think he deserves to be. Because he, I'll give you literally one reason why he plays for the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, in being the eighth seed might even be a play on play in team. Are they? You realize how good you realize how good Giannis has to be to make the Milwaukee Bucks relevant. That's what makes him so much better than what he is. Like he, I think, he, I think the Bucks would be a solid team in the East without Giannis. Yeah, but I mean, like he he made them like, dude, the Milwaukee Bucks. How often did you say that team's name before Giannis? Never. That team was never talked about. It's Port, Portland's a tough team. I mean, like they're, it, it's a tough place to make relevant. It's in the middle of a no name state, Washington. Like it's the only thing there is basketball. It's you know. It's just I don't know. I mean, I feel like Dame. He's got to get out of there. I know. I know he wants to be yeah, loyal. He should, to come, he, should, he should come. He should come to Philadelphia. But you know, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I think Dame. I think Dame. Dame is just a loyal dude. He doesn't want to leave. I think he wants to win there. But it's impossible to win there with the way the NBA is now. But no, that's Dame, a good. Pick. I, I love watching that guy play. I mean, <laughs> Damian Damian Lillard as my point guard with the team I already have. I mean, you can't even lie. That's terrifying. That's that's scary. I think you have the third best point guard in the league. I have the I have the two best. Well, you you're calling James James Harden a point guard? Yes, he's 100 percent a point guard. Okay, I mean I'm not opposed to that, but I think Dame is. I think Dame's. He's averaging eight, I think eight or nine assists this year, James Harden. Well, I, I listen. He's he, he's categorized as a shoot, shooting guard, so I'm just putting it out there what he is. With the fifth pick, I know you forgot about him. I know you forgot about this guy. The brow, Anthony Davis. I didn't forget about him. I definitely didn't forget about him. Uh, I thought you were going to go with him with the second pick. I'm not going to lie. I really did. I need that chemistry. I need that. I need that one, two punch. Oh, no, on Anthony Davis. It's chemistry. It goes a long listen, way. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and deny anything. That is pr- probably the biggest steal of this thing because I mean, he healthy, and in NBA 2K, he's going to be healthy on blacktop. He's easily top five, if not maybe even you could pr- probably put him at number three in the best team, best players in the league. It's the truth. I mean, the guy's a beast. He was struggling this year for some reason. I don't know if he was still hurt. Like, I don't know if he came into this season hurt. He was not playing well with the team before his injury. So I think he was nursing that Achilles no. a little bit. He definitely was a, He definitely was struggling. He definitely was not. A, but he makes his return tomorrow night. So I'm looking forward to seeing. He's definitely not going to get a lot of minutes. I've got a I've got a big one here. Now is this is this like out of like top fifteen? You're picking someone that you you trust is like. No, I mean I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not in an ideal spot. There's a couple of guys I that I could pick and I'd feel comfortable with. I'm not going to lie. I'm really thinking about. I'm really, really thinking about. I'm not lying to you. I was really thinking about taking Devin Booker because he's my guy. I, I knew. I, I knew. I was thinking about taking Devin Booker. I'm not taking him. I was thinking about Bradley Beal. I was thinking about Chris Paul. I've got a lot of guys I was thinking about, but I'm going with Luka Dantich. I'll say this. I'm, I'm going nervous. with Luka. I'm nervous about him. I'm going with Luka Dantich because I know for a fact that I'm, you forgot I'm about nervous. that guy. I didn't forget about him. I didn't forget about him, but because I drafted Steph and James, like if you were to take, this is honest, if you were to take one of Steph or James, Luca was my guy. I mean, I was really thinking about taking Devin Booker. I'm not going to lie. He's my guy. Devin, if you're watching, you're my dude. Let's meet up. You know, we can get you on the podcast. Fly me out to Phoenix. I've been to one. I actually been to a Suns game when I was in Arizona. He's the man. He dropped like four. Yeah, He's the man. Um, I was really thinking about taking him. I, I was really thinking about taking Bradley Beal. I was even thinking about taking Russ, but I'm, I think Luka Dantich, I mean, I've got to match up two shooters. I got to have two guys that can shoot the lights out. Plus with Kevin Durant. So your starting lineup, you have Luka bringing up the ball or you got Dala Dame? I got Dala Dame bringing the ball. All right. Dala Dame's bringing the ball up. You got Luka shooting guard. You got KD at small forward. 
KD at small forward. Giannis at power and MB at center. That's scary. That's a scary lineup. Your team's like height goes like this. Like straight up. The only thing, the only thing that scares me, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie, is obviously in NBA 2K athleticism is a big trait. Luka Doncic probably doesn't have a ton of it, but I feel like he's I mean, he's probably a 90, 95, 94 plus NBA 2K rating. He probably has like a 90 something from three point. Yeah. He can score. He could definitely score in 2K. So I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Plus, I mean, it's gonna be, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I'm feeling very really good. Yeah, obviously, I got Steph at the point, James at the two. I'm putting Kawhi at small forward. I like him matching up with Kevin Durant. I think he could, you know, initiate a lot of physical contact. Get Kevin. But that's what you have to go with that. You have to go with that. You have to put LeBron at power forward. You have to. Yeah, you, yeah, and I'm, I'm putting LeBron to cover Giannis. When it comes to speed and overall power, I think he's got him. He's the only one that can guard Giannis, like, like going into the paint. Like yeah. athleticism wise, when it comes to he can, he's the only one. I mean, Kawhi can do it, obviously, too, but. Yeah, I, I I just I don't like Giannis because I don't think he can shoot. And I'm LeBron. I think that defensive matchup I like, but I mean I just don't know. I mean Andy, I just, I just yeah. think you're in trouble with Anthony Davis versus versus Joel. I think you're in trouble. Bryce, I was just gonna say Ant Davis is my weak point right now. Have you ever, have you ever heard? Me? Yeah, I got Letting defensive me. schemes. I got defensive schemes. I got matchups. I know what I'm letting doing. me snag, letting me snag Joel, you know, obviously it was, I mean, I think honestly you were in a lose, lose situation because I would, I would have never taken, you know, me because I'm not a fan of LeBron, not a big LeBron guy. I would have not taken LeBron with the first pick j- just solely off of hatred. I would have taken Kevin Durant. So I knew I had an advantage there. And I mean, obviously the biggest pick in the draft was number two. I mean, that led the teams to two different directions. You went with Kawhi, which I respect. I was honestly thinking about pulling Giannis first, first overall I, well, as my pick. I was really thinking about it. So the fact that I was able to get Kevin Durant and Giannis proves. Giannis, Giannis is so good in 2K because if you're fast and you're strong in 2K, <laughs> you're set up. For yeah, some- I mean, I'm also, I'm also setting myself up for offensive, possible offensive rebounds. I mean, Joel is easily the best, you know, he's, he's going to get boards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rebounds. I, I took back. I was going to say the best one out there. I was going to. No, 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 no. You're not going to get any rebounds because Steph and James are just going to be dropping them in. Just like that. Just dropping them in. Swish. Swish. It's an X, I'm going to say X factor of the game is by far Luka Doncic. He's the X factor. He is make or break it. He's going to determine who's going to win. And then we'll get, we'll get Bergman to decide whose team's better. He'll, he'll pick the odds. Like if my team's minus 110 or your team – or we're even money or your we'll team. We'll have him pick the odds. We'll let the, we'll yeah. let the people decide. We'll yeah, we'll have points first. given. Points we'll given. <laughs> we'll post a poll. We'll get it out there. We'll let the we'll let the people decide first. But so we do, are we doing a one? Are we doing a one game straight up? Are we doing a series? One, I think I, that's that's actually a very good question. Me personally, I would like a series. I like a series too. I like four game series. Is fair. Four three game, game series. Three game series. Three game. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Game yeah game. Three game series. Yeah. I think three game series is good because it. it First team, you got to get acclimated with your players. You know, you got to feel them out. You got to develop that chemistry. No, absolutely. You know, games two and three, that's when it's going to get intense. So, yeah, we'll do we'll do a three game series. I like that. Good call. No, yeah, that's good. It will be it will be fun for sure. I didn't it's think. Be good. I didn't think with two. I didn't think with us two hardcore Philly fans, Embiid was falling that low. No, I didn't think so either. I, I thought I'm, you were coming out picking Embiid first. I was about to have you start the Rocky music again. I, I, I was and beat at three was just I felt great. I was like, I'm either getting curry or I'm getting in beat after that Kawhi pick. Yeah. I like Kawhi I was slept on. I'm not gonna lie, Kawhi was Kawhi was off my radar. I'm, I wasn't even thinking about him. I, I'm not that it was like I completely forgot about him. I'm not gonna lie. Bryce, I thought this is where I, I thought you were gonna pick and you, you 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 might have couldn't have got, you probably could have gotten away with Kawhi at like four. I completely forgot he existed. I'm not gonna <laughs> you imagine I got, got Kawhi fifth overall. Could you imagine being like instead of James Harden, you were like, I'm taking Kawhi, I would have been like, like <laughs> <laughs> Um well I thought you were picking Embiid with your second pick. So then if you picked Embiid with your second pick, I'm taking Giannis because I think in this league, the only person who can get somewhat pressure on Giannis, I mean, on Embiid is Giannis. 
I thought for sure you were going to pull something out of here. Like, I thought, I was like, can Jim just mess this up? Give me Curry, Giannis, and KD. I would literally, we wouldn't even have to play the simulation. Yeah. No, dude, I'm, I'm excited. Three game series. We're going to live stream it. And that's for the current five. Uh, of the NBA. Those, those are our teams. Team. We're going to post them on uh, all social media so you guys can vote who you got winning the series. And um, like I said, we'll be streaming them so you guys can watch and stay tuned to see what we got. Dantich. Some people, some people are going to be like that. I think, I, I think that actually might be the steal of the draft. Luka Dantich. I'm surprised. You know who I'm surprised didn't go off the board? Paul George. Yeah, I was thinking him too. I'm surprised. He's good in 2K. Westbrook's insane in 2K. He's so athletic. I was thinking about I was thinking, taking yeah, athletes. Yeah, I was thinking about taking him, but I don't know. At the same time, I wanted to go with like a team in the way too. You wanted. I wanted to go with like if these teams played in real life. Like, let's just say somehow, some way, we could organize these teams and they played in real life. I feel like this would be like. I rather have. I ra- much rather have Luka Doncic than Russell Westbrook, as my shooting guard. You know he's 21 years old. Luca, yeah, he's. Uh, what's it, it bothers me every single day that I'm like seven months older than Giannis or uh, than Zion. Oh, than Zion, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like I'm, I'm like seven years. I'm at seven months older than him. Like just compare us. Who's having the better career, Luca or Zion? I'm going with my. Uh, I'm going. I'm a huge Duke fan. So out of out of being biased, I'm rolling with Zion. I, I'm rolling with him. I I just think, don't see the, the issues with Luca. Is, I mean, I just see. I think being with the Mavericks is a trap in a way. Like I, I just feel like he'll never leave there. He'll be similar to Dirk, and he'll be lucky if he can somehow win one title. I'm going with Luca from the standpoint when you get a guy like Zion that is that big, running that hard all don't say, the time. Don't say it. That's messed up. Don't say what you're going to say. Bound to get hurt. That's so bound much. to get hurt. Bound they, to have to dude, they said the same. Sh- they said the same. He doesn't keep himself as in shape. Like not I, saying. I know. I know but they said the same stuff about LeBron, though. I know, but when you look at LeBron, LeBron definitely takes more care of his body than Zion. Hey, you don't know what Zion's doing in the off season. I'm not, I'm not taking dude, Zion's huge. Maybe, maybe Zion's going to get on the Brady workout. He's going to start eating avocado ice cream. He's going to start. Zion, if Zion gets on the TV twelve method, we're looking at oh, the basketball okay. player balls off. Oh, it's over. <laughs> But that's the only reason why I'm taking Luca to have the better career because I think. No, it's I can I I'm I'm biased. I'm a huge Duke fan. I know that's going to hurt. The viewers are not going to like to hear that, but I'm a huge Duke fan, so I'm being biased. I'm rolling with him. I mean, the amount of triple doubles, uh, Zion scoring at an absurd rate, the 65% field goal percentage, like that's crazy. That's that's Shaq level. I'm not saying he is Shaq. I'm saying that's Shaq. I mean, Zion's level. living up so far. Zion is living up to that hype because he was probably the most hyped up player that went number one overall since LeBron. Like I know that sounds crazy, but. The hype around Zion was. You know, it, I think it hurt his career getting drafted by New Orleans. Like, could you oh, imagine yeah. if it was like New York yeah. Knicks? He should have went to New York. Oh my God, it's so it's so bad. The NBA. Boston, I know Boston have a high pick, but like a a big franchise like that, then I think Zion's. If he's in New York right now, it's Zion is a top three, like most. I mean, he's everything. He's yeah, uh, yeah. It's a and shame. It's the same thing. Same thing with Luca. Like in Dallas, like playing in Dallas, I don't really see that like being a big. Yeah, it's a shame that a guy like I mean like. Even John ja Morant in Memphis, like he should be, in, he should be in New York too. It's a shame guys like that. I mean, RJ Barrett's a good player. He also went to Duke. Shout out to him. But like, could you imagine rather him going to Memphis or like Ja or Zion going, you know, to New York? This league is, you know, it's well, better we, with them. What we were just talking about, like your pick. I mean, Dame Lillard. Imagine if he's not in Portland. Imagine if he's with a Boston Celtics or something like that. Yeah, like, I mean, imagine- it's- like, you know, instead of Steph Curry being the best point guard, we're probably talking about Dame being the best point guard. Like, that's just how it works uh, when it comes to the type of franchise you play. But, yeah, you're going Zion. I'm going Doncic just because of injury. I think yeah. you know, Zion's already had a couple injuries, and I don't think he no. – the amount of wear and tear he puts on his body every night because he goes so hard, he'll be able no, to – No, you're right. You're but, right. all right, there it is. That's the first draft of this podcast done. In the oh, book, I, I gotta say, I, I I killed it. I I my team is unbelievable. I have the best player in the league. I mean, you can just see, you guys can literally see in Jim's face. He's just not confident. He's not nearly as confident as I am. I'm not confident. You're not confident. Oh, I can man. see. It. Oh man, I got the two best shooters in the league, and I got the best player in the league. 
that's debatable, but I have the best center in the NBA and you don't even have a center on your team. I do. The brow. Yeah, but like you don't you're not comfortable with him against Joel. I'm I'm not comfortable with him, but I'm gonna make sure that this turns into a pull up from three kind of game. We're not playing down low. Listen, I got three guys that could pull up from three, and my center can even pull up from three. Not with the claw and LeBron coverage. I'm just saying, I'm just saying we'll see. We'll see what the fans think. Hey, we'll, let, yeah, we'll, let, oh, we'll see what the fans have to say. We'll get Bergy to pick some lines. We'll get we'll get some, you know, yeah. get a point we'll get spread. We'll um and then yeah, we'll 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 take it to the we'll take it to the court. And uh, okay. we'll see. Definitely. For sure. For sure. All right. There it is. We're going to be on to our next segment where we draft uh, all time now. And that will be a series as well. So I'm looking forward to that because with Bryce's picks, he completely threw me off guard. So I, I can't wait for this all time. But there it is. Go vote. <laughs>